Okay, so here is our first look at Niawu by the port side. It's night time when you arrive. You see the cormorant fishermen and the big moon in the background. And the camera just keeps on going. And you hear the bells and you see the ferry and the other ships floating through the night. And this is how you arrive. And it's somewhat reminiscent to Shemu 2 when you arrive in Aberdeen, I suppose. Except that happened during the daytime. So there's you and Shenhua. There's the man in the red cardigan and his wife with the purple blouse. There's um, Ryo with his standard green backpack, which he's had since Shemu 2, which is a nice carryover. Ryo spots a beautiful woman in the distance, her brown hair waving. Shenhua is just taking in the city. Ryo looks to the distant, into the distance, into the yeah, and he notices a cormorant fisherman. Over there, that's the famous bay. He can control any cormorant ah, he puts okay. his hands on. Your room number is two oh one. What? So he already has a hotel book. That's hotel pretty nice of the ferry company. You can't miss it. I'll have your bags sent up. In the meantime, I do wonder how many bags Shenhua brought. I mean, oh, do they literally have mean just that single ship. bag? Maybe. Okay. Okay, time for Rio to move without his green backpack. It looks like he's just on his own, but actually, Shenhua should be just behind him. Hmm. But he notices the sort of the wanted posters Chobu for the Chobu Chan. What is this thing? I don't think I'll ever notice again what that is. But there's all these sort of stores and stalls on the harbour front. It's quite a sort of a bustling place. I guess it's reminiscent of hey, lad. Is it Wan Chai in uh. Shemu 2? Give to just close up shop and go fishing today. Yes, uh, Shemu 3 definitely encourages fishing, which I will not be doing. Renting for the day. You'll have to come by earlier. Oh well. More fish. Super tackle near the big pier. Okay. Why, hello there. I've got a fresh catch with your name on it. Come and get it. I mean, it would be great if you could just sort of splurge your cash on random things like raw fish, store in the fridge, but you can't do that. You can interact with the storekeepers and the stall runners. So I think I'm just going around and sort of Welcome. speaking to each of them. You're looking at the only souvenir shop in Nyau Harbor. Hi there. How about a nice souvenir to remember Nyau by? It would be nice, yeah. So there is the florist, which is open at this time of night, which is nice. So I'm just sort of exploring the harbour front and seeing what's around. Hello, welcome. Let me know your budget, and I'll make the perfect bouquet or wreath for you. Okay, it's very kind of her to offer. Now this shop. The fresh fruit Hello. shop will come in very Welcome. handy. Welcome. We have the freshest fruit in all of Nyawu. I particularly have like their watermelons and melons. Best. Sorry, yeah. I particularly like their watermelons and mangoes. Yeah. So further down, there's places that sells sort of meat on sticks and steam buns and... A liquor, possibly, and sort of Buddhist statues, 
and all other kinds of delightful food. I still have my uh, my banana and apple from Shenhua's house. I mean, it does look appealing, doesn't it? So up ahead is a warehouse, and on the left is the, I think it's the ferry terminal, but it's closed at the minute. Yeah, ferry terminal. So Rio's gonna go check out the, uh, well it's not particularly ominous, but the, he's gonna check out a factory, or the warehouse, yeah. So this is Riff Tamblin. Uh, hi. Not from around here, are you? <laughs> you have a rugged look to you, kid. So, I wonder what language they spoke to. I assume Riff is American, and Ryo is, you know, obviously Japanese. So do they communicate with each other in Chinese? Excuse me. Hey, kid. This is a restricted area. Exactly. Actually, how did Rio and Shenhua just sort of like wander in? I mean, yeah. Rather than asking where the hotel is, let's just ask you seen this a random guy. Huh? Have they seen Yuan? Why in places would I know who that is? He's my father. Have you seen him? Ah, damn. You're a cute one. So the guy in the photo is your dad, huh? Why didn't you say so earlier? Uh, for some reason, Let after see. they see Shenhua, they're nah, more willing to help. Sorry. I've never seen but him before. Anthony Perez still okay. cannot be of help, Thanks. unfortunately. He has not seen Yuan. I thought that sort of coming to that uh, warehouse would be useful, but it turns out that warehouse never comes in handy ever again. Unless there's a forklift sort of side job that I completely missed. I probably did. But yeah, it, I'd never go there ever again. So it turns out the Hotel Niawu is just up ahead. And because it's sort of your residence during your time in Niawu, it'll kind of become your base of operations and everything else you'll know in relation to Hotel Niawu. But when you first arrive, it's not entirely clear where it is. But, uh, so here's the uh, local temple slash dojo where you can level up, train, which... I assume you'll have to do, unfortunately. Uh, it's night time, so it, the dojo place is closed. Train with a wooden dummy. Yes. It's already late. I'll come back tomorrow. Time to check into the hotel before it hits nine o'clock. There's the arcade on the left. High tech land. The big dog. And these... Are these pachinko machines? Or are they just outdoor amusements? You sort of just drop, yeah, that is what Pachinko is, right? You just sort of drop in a ball from the top and it reaches the bottom. There's a little cute kid with a green cardigan just wandering around the streets. I assume one of the the owner's children. And there we are, Hotel Niawa, just on the left. Let's head on in and let's check in. Seventh of April, nineteen eighty seven. Seems like a nice place, but it's definitely not as homely as in Bailu Village. I'll go check us in. I wonder how you would have checked into a hotel in nineteen eighty seven. You wouldn't have needed passports and credit cards, I think. You from the ferry? Yeah. Name? Hazuki. <laughs> You'll be in room 201. Your friend is next door in 202. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Let's call it a day. Sure. So, 
apparently checking in is literally tonight. just walking up to the reception, saying your name and collecting the keys. It's not an involved process at all. Fair enough. Yep, they have rooms right next to one another. 201 and 202. Hey, you. Yes? If you want to use that international phone over there, you're going to need a telephone card. I'll sell you one if you need to make a call. It's good uh -huh. that she's there all night. So yeah, um, using that telephone becomes quite interesting. It's an uh, it's a way into sort of Rio's past. Hi there. Hello, dear. Do you want a telephone card? Absolutely. It's five yen for a card. You can make one international call per card. Five yen a pop. Yep. International calls aren't cheap, you know. Yeah, it's 1987, so five yuan for a whole phone call doesn't seem bad. So let's stock up. It's actually got her face on the card. Yeah, thanks. If you're going to make more than one call, you should buy a bunch of cards. Absolutely. So let's make some phone calls. Let's delve into Rio's past. Who will his first phone call be to? Definitely not Fukusan. Ine san, of course. Your surrogate mother. It's kind of your duty to kind of call the person that kind of acts like your mother. Right? Hello. This is Hazuki Dojo. Oh. Ine-san? Oh. Ryo san Is that you? It, it yeah. must have been months since they've last spoken. I'm so glad you're safe. I've been so worried about you. I see. Sorry about that. Please don't be. Hearing your voice fills me with joy. It's nice that it has the Shemu 1 and Shemu 2 yes. sort of clips going on, just to remind you how they interacted Did in the, the past. Did the blossoms bloom on the cherry tree? Yes, they were especially beautiful this year. I mean, this year. is actually a time-relevant conversation, see. because Sakura What's season wrong, is April. It's rare to hear you talk about flowers. Real san's it's thinking of home. That. There's a Shenmu tree here that reminds me of our cherry blossom trees. Is that right? I was reminded of home when I saw it in bloom. It's so hard to believe that I was training with father under that tree last year. It's only been a year Indeed. since Ryo lost You've his father. There since you were little. Year after year under the cherry tree. So it has a yes. special significance to him. Gone now. Ryo san. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Okay, Ine-san. I'll call again sometime. Please do. I love hearing your voice. Take care of yourself, Ine-san. And say hello to Fukusan for me. I thought these phone yes, calls were such course. a nice touch. Please call again. I'll be waiting. Yes, I will. I promise. But of course, it's entirely up to you to decide, is it pandering to sentimentality? Or is it giving gamers who like the Shemu series what they want? Or are they the same thing? So obviously the next person you've got to speak to is Nozomi, or is it Joy? It's gotta be Nozomi, right? Indecisive. I mean, I don't know how this phone call will go. Nozomi is kind of like your Lana Lang. You were meant to be together, but you just not it's not gonna happen. Hello? Harasaki. Yes? It's me, Hazuki. Hazuki? Yeah. How are you doing? 
It doesn't sound like she wants to hear from Ryo, to be honest. I uh, wasn't expecting to hear from you. I see. Is this a bad time? No, not at all. I'm thrilled to hear from you. But it's not clear. I see. Maybe she's just shocked and she does she's actually want China? to hear from him. Yeah. You aren't getting into trouble, are you? Is everything okay? Yeah. There's nothing to worry about. What does he talk about? The amulet? I've still got the amulet. The one you gave me. The amulet? I've had it with me ever since I left Japan. For good luck. Really? I've had I hope some Nozomi remembers then, that. But I've survived them all. I think it might be because your amulet is protecting me. I hope that's true. Thinking back on it now, I wish I would have given you something. It's really unclear what honest, Ryo feels about Nozomi. First. I thought you'd say that. Towards Shenhua, but he feels have definitely things have, have developed. Troubles. But Changed. towards Nozomi, it's always been a bit ambiguous. It came to me when I received an amulet in Hong Kong. It's not just a thing. It's a person's heart. I think Positive. he probably considers I feel like I Nozomi of someone as a friend. Me to stay safe. That's why I always carry your amulet with me. That's wonderful. I'm so happy to hear you say that. But, uh, Hazuki? Hmm? What is it, Harasaki? You got an amulet in Hong Kong? Who gave it to you? So, um, a little bit of jealousy? A martial yeah. arts master who helped me out. Oh, uh, I see. So a teacher gave it to you. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. So, with that final thing that Nozomi said, My mother is calling for there's obviously a, a hint see. of jealousy there. Can you call me back later? But that's perhaps sure. only natural. I can do yeah. that. There is so much more but she I does live in Canada, you. and Ryo is all the way in China, doing his own quest. It feels like that relationship has ended. So, Joy, or... Fang Mei. Conversations with Joy are just going to be fraught. Fang Mei. I mean, I don't. I, I feel like Ryo didn't really get to know Fang Mei that well. So Joy, I think. Who to call next? Gotta call Joy. I mean, it feels like Ryo might be contacting all his spurned ex-partners, but he was never romantically involved with any of these people. But I think they all liked him. Hello? Joy? Yeah. You! Where are you and what are you up to? See, I Joy definitely does care about Ryo. Sorry about that. It's not easy to make calls where I've been. And they're very expensive. Is that right? Five well, yuan. Well, what? Ugh. Don't you have something to say to me? Okay. <laughs> How are you doing, Joy? How are you doing, Joy? Mm, fine, I guess. That's good to hear. I think I think you? Joy is expecting so Ryo to open up more oh. to her. Mm. But if they hadn't done that in person, it's unusual to expect it um, over the phone. Uh Hey, um It's awkward. What's wrong, Joy? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Really. Nothing, huh? huh. Then there's nothing wrong with me either. I mean, their conversations right. were always a little odd, I guess but he did then. he did save her Yo, at what? the end of Shenmue 2. Wait! What? You finally call and that's it? Well, I didn't really have much to say. Is that right? Ryo has such a frankness to him. Anyway, I'll call again sometime. Yep, I won't get my hopes up. I'd be more worried if he did. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> damn you, Dio. Well, whatever. Just don't get hurt. Okay, I'll be careful. So, it feels like with regards to Joy, Ryo knows that she's taken a liking to him. 
but he doesn't seem to reciprocate those feelings in any way whatsoever. He sees her purely as a friend slash ally. Okay, so Fang Mei, the final phone call. I mean, it's, it's already well past 11 o'clock. Hello? This is Grandmaster Shuing Hong's home. Shuing oh, Hong's home. Sorry, but the Grandmaster isn't here right now. Huh? That voice. Yosan, is that you? Oh, it's you, Fang Mei. Yes! I'm so glad you're okay! So, it, yeah. I can't recall, did Fang doing? Mei also take a liking to Ryo, right. or did she just consider Ryo sort of a big brother figure? But why are you calling? Is something wrong? Um, well... I mean, this I don't entirely understand. Surely you can just call to, to be Shui sociable and to stay in touch? Are you in some kind of trouble? But I suppose in the 1980s, trouble. international phone calls were so expensive master, that... You would only call if you were in need of help or in trouble. No, it's nothing like that. So you met some super strong opponent and want to know how to beat them. It's that, right? No. It feels like Fang Mei definitely has a handle on what she thinks Ryo is like. I wanted to ask her if you'd been crying or not. What? Me? I mean, that that's pretty horrible. Ryo to tease her like that. <laughs> that was such a weird joke. By the way, are Xu Ying and the others at the temple doing okay? Hey, yes, everyone is fine. They're all here I suppose the purpose day. of the Fang Mei phone call is to so for me? let you know that everything She's is going okay. Okay, I'll call again sometime. I can't wait. I think perhaps if he were to talk directly to Xu Ying Hong, it would be a bit Thanks. awkward. You too. Okay, so it's 11.40, it's time for Ryo to get some rest, I think. So there's soda machines at the end of the hall, cola, coffee, men's toilets, okay. But you're on the second floor as your room number is 201. But yeah, I think it just, it automatically transported you, because it's getting very close to midnight. So, another one of those watch on, jeans on, trainers on type sleep. Okay, Yokojitsu, 8th of April. So, at least you get to sleep till 8am. So, and your alarm on your watch wakes you up rather than Shenhua coming in and waking you up. So you get that one extra hour of sleep. So you've got to ask about the picture. And you get the complimentary apples in your bedroom. So obviously these are all, this is sort of um, what can I say, fan stuff, people writing about Shenmue 3, then being included in the game. I guess it's a nice touch, um, particularly if you contributed and you want to see your note in there. Fan service, yes, that's what it's called. I mean, it's a miracle this game got made. A lot of um, devoted fans out there. So, time to grab some apples. Looks good. Guess I'll take it.
I mean, it would be great if there were four apples, if you could just, if there was a button that just said take all, and it would avoid this somewhat prolonged um, animation. But such is life. Free apples, let's grab them. So you also have a very nice view of the harbour. Looks like a warm welcome. Yeah, there's a lipstick mark on your welcome sheet card. So you can also head outside. And when, particularly when it's raining, it's very nice to just listen to the rain. Just observe the surroundings of Miyawa. And Shenhua's room is right next door, so you can actually uh, peek through her, um, I guess, glass doors. Uh, she would be in there, but obviously it's 8.30, so she's already up and about. And she's waiting for you downstairs in the reception. Um, there's the other rooms, which you can also peek in if you like. I mean, it's nice to just explore your environs, you know, when you first arrive. You likely won't be doing it again, but when you're sort of playing through the game for the first time, it's nice to get a sense of your bearings and your surroundings. Just listen to the patch of rain outside. So yeah, just like I was saying at the end of the Bailu Village stage, Niawu feels like almost an entirely different game. I think if, if it had been possible, it would have been nice if they perhaps released sort of Shenmue 3 as two games, possibly. I mean, I know people don't like that, but... Oh, yeah, what an interesting... Yeah, five Americans, what an interesting uh, portrait. I mean, I I thoroughly enjoyed the Bailu Village stage, and I probably got maybe oh my eight word. to sixteen hours Did of gameplay from that. that? I told you Whereas to the Niawu stage Sorry, is a honey. lot longer. I'll you anything you want, so don't be angry, okay? Did you say anything? So there's Rio just course. taking in Have the uh, marital bliss while he tries and gets past, but he can't. You watch yourself. Who do you think you're looking at, boy? So that couple obviously um, didn't appreciate Ryo observing their marital bliss. They appear to be nouveau riche. Okay. So at this point, I'm not quite sure. Do I knock on the door or do I just head down? But since she's not in the room, it would make sense to just go downstairs and assume that she's waiting the reception. So, down we go. It's a very nice hotel. And will the scripted stuff come up? Hey, Here we you. go. Yes. You need to pay for your room tonight. Don't tell me you don't have any cash. No. I do. So I imagine oh, you. Shenhua is also doing the same every morning. She has to pay at the daily rate. Okay, so let's establish what's going to happen while we're in Niawu. Good morning, Liu. Morning, Shenhua. We need to search for clues about your father and the others. Agreed. But I completely underestimated the size of Niawu. It's totally different from the port at Longwei Shan. Yes, the port of Longwei Shan in Shenmue 2 is nothing like uh, Niawu. Like Let's split up and ask around. Okay. I guess that's a start. So it's just a what case of asking Down about Yuan. Agreed. I mean, I'm not quite sure what they can get from just asking people, have they seen this man? But okay, I'll see you in a bit. It's better than nothing. 
they've come to Niawu and they, they... Oh, oh yeah that that hmm. I'm sure that cha chanting noise won't get annoying the things that people have to live with So thankfully it's not as loud as that for the rest of the game. Excuse me. It, the, 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 the volume definitely have dampens. You come to train? What? There are fighters from all over China at this dojo. Here you can train with wooden dummies. So the thing is I think in the Bailu Village section they mentioned how, how Bailu Village was famous for Anytime. martial artists coming from all yes. over the world to fight Anytime. there. Now, Wu Shenhu, the guy saying the same thing. But does, yes. is this the case of Next. these are specifically martial arts places, no. or Azuki. does every dojo and hall just promote back. this idea? Now then, Mr. Hazuki, you're welcome to train here anytime you wish. No, thank you. Can you X? No, you can't. Do you want to have a match? I'll have you face Red Wolf first. So as you can see, there was there was no way to sort of leave that screen. So fight it is. Let's defeat this this Red Wolf guy. Hopefully, my strong elbow assault will be enough. He is weak. Okay, he absolutely got destroyed. Well done. Allow me to hang your nameplate on the first Doan rack. This is only the beginning. It's a long way to the top, so keep climbing one step at a time. They're all trying to keep real humble, but that battle is unusually easy. Yeah, you can hear the pitter patter of rain. You just fought Red Wolf and won very easily. But that noise is so annoying, so let's get out of here. There is the arcade, high tech land, which I never ever ventured into. Perhaps on a subsequent playthrough I shall, but I don't think I partook in any of those things. Excuse me. So I'm asking you around. It's the lucky hit game. How about winning a memento? Have you seen this man? Have you seen this person? Hmm. We don't get that many customers. I see. I mean, that's quite sad, isn't it? <laughs> She's very truthful there. They don't get that many customers. Excuse me? Hey, man. What do you think of the girl next to me? Oh? The one running the lucky hit game. Oh. She's so cute. She's I feel like my that type. guy has the similar uh, voice to okay. Yang back in I Joy Park. My girlfriend. That would be awesome. I've asked her out a bunch of times, but it hasn't gone well. I wonder why. I've done everything I can think of to show her how passionate I am. I see. Right. It's not even a case of it's a mission. It's just hey, he man. just happy. He just wanted what to tell you, you that. The girl next to me. She's so cute. Okay, She's I have to listen to this all time. over again. I've asked her out. I've done. Uh, I see. So I feel like he was not so helpful. Hi there. Hey, boy. You look like you have some strength in those arms. Oh. You have a solid lower back and stable footing. He's just trying to get like you to chop wood, which I really don't right. want to do. So let's get out of here, these crazy people. So that place is cordoned off for the time being. In time, it will be uncordoned off. But for the time being, there's a warning. Okay, so let's get out of here with these crazy people. So, is it... To the warehouse or to the ferry terminal? Okay, ferry terminal it is. Welcome Guy with Yahoo. cool sunglasses. Can I help you with something? As the tour guide around these parts, I'm your man if you've got any questions. 
I see. I mean, that's great. I do have questions. If you have a moment, please take a look around the ferry terminal. Here you can find information on everything Yahoo has to offer. Okay. Everything. Absolutely yes. everything. We've got information on the city's incredibly exciting venture areas and prize exchanges. If you're looking for work, no, that guy is very enthusiastic. And he used the word incredibly exciting. You could ever want to know all in one place. Is that so? I feel like he's a walking advertisement for the ferry terminal. The for when you're down on your luck. Seriously? Anyway, I hope you'll make the ferry terminal your first and last stop when you're stumped. I do feel like this conversation was a series of platitudes from that man. Pardon me. Do you need help? I do. I'm the tour guide for Nyawu, so I can help you find just about anything. Can you help me find Mr. Yuan? I have a question. Have you seen this person? Is this someone you brought with you? Does anything in this picture look familiar to you? Notice how he I answered my question yes, with another question. I'm not sure. I'm afraid not. Sorry. I see. At least he's truthful. I mean, he said he wanted to say yes, but thankfully he was just truthful and didn't send me on a wild goose chase. So many photographs. Oh, look, there's the receptionist. So, another board. Will I see someone familiar? Okay, let's go talk to this guy. His name is DJ. Is that really you? Huh? What's your deal? It's me, Dio. I helped you do some heavy lifting back in Wan Chai. Wan Chai? Wait, do you know my brother? I'm the Ling's brother, Hong Da Jing. Now. In Shemu 2, I had to do that job for one shift and then never again. But we're pretty different if you look carefully, right? Yeah. Delin was very weird. He had this very weird technique of going left, 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 right, 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 right. And he got mad if you didn't follow him exactly. Thank you. I mean, Delin was a bit crazy. So I think Dejing is a lot more reasonable. I mean, Delin had this evil look about him as well. He looked, he was permanently smiling, but he, he had such an angry temper about him if you didn't uh, get the crate carrying perfectly. Gather herbs and make some cash. Yes. Find treasure with the herb map. A job with a forklift. Oh. Chopping firewood, huh? Fishing. Good money for your herbs. So here it's there are six ways to make money legitimately, aside from gambling, of course. So you can do forklift racing, races. and on the mark. herbs, fortune. obviously, and Guaranteed fishing. Readings. Fortune telling, huh? So that's a way to make money through gambling. So what other advertisements are there? So I can trade for a skill book. At pa pawn shops will trade for store cart. Pawn shops will pay. I'm surprised to find a pawn shop out here. Why? I mean, Yao was a major, major harbor city, port city, town, whatever. So, going upstairs. What is upstairs? There's a single. Oh no, there's lit candles, beds. So it's good that they provide beds for people that need them. Or is there a charge for staying at the ferry terminal? I imagine they charge something. I guess it's for people who arrive from the from a ferry, they just need a, a bed to sleep on, and then they head out the next day. So it's sort of an information hub. I'm not quite sure how useful it was, although you did get to meet Dejing. So going along the harbour front, in the rain, no less. Sort of looking out at the place that you arrived. 
There's all the fish um, paraphernalia, fish shops, fishmongers, I think they're called. So where do where does Rio go from here? Maybe turn right here. Excuse me. Hello, welcome. She has Looking very fashionable hair. Or perhaps your family? Let me know your budget, and I'll make the perfect bouquet or wreath for you. Actually, I'm here for something else. Oh, all right. Uh, how can I help? Have you seen this person? Have you seen this person? Hmm. He looks kind of familiar. Ooh. I don't that's think a, so. Oh. Sorry. I thought that was a okay. lead. Thanks. Okay. Time to head through these arches. Is that an arch? The promenade. Oh. So that's the name of this road. Time to head through the promenade. Found the promenade. Okay, cutscene ensues. There's someone trying to run. It was just a fortune. I only said wine was bad for his luck. Of course. Shut it. QTE. Real getting involved. Don't tell me. I just knocked him out. Thank you, kind sir. And Real, Real's see, gonna get himself involved in some pretty how about I tell your unfortunate incidents if he keeps on using, you know, sure. fighting to resolve everything. But at least My he's now son, made a friend of the tortoise ahead. shop, the tortoise shell time. fortune teller guy. I mean, it's a way to introduce you to the promenade. I can get a free reading. It's great. So let's hurry on through. I don't think I need any Golden Buddha statues for the time being. I don't need any vases either. Oh look, there's U.S.C. Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Sorry. I saw you at Hotel Niawu. Do you remember? I do oh, not remember seeing yes. him at Hotel Niawu. It must be nice to travel around with such a cute girlfriend. Oh. We're not... I mean, that was a bit of a stretch. Excuse me. Hello there. Are you traveling too? I'm traveling all over the world. Oh, are you? Okay. It's my first time in China. Guilin has the most beautiful scenery. I wonder what language they're it communicating with each other in. This town is nice too. Especially the women. Right. The women? Beautiful women left and right? Don't you think so? Uh, okay. I mean, just don't... The woman at the front get... desk of the hotel <laughs> is a different story, though. But yeah, don't try and get Ryo into a conversation about the attractiveness of women. He just will not go there. So let's enter the Rose Garden. No, not yet. Okay, maybe later. So footwear. I want to get some more footwear. Martial arts store. Time to head to the Rose Garden. See what's back there. I mean, generally speaking, when you see a sign for something called a Rose Garden, it's not quite as, I don't know, neon signy as this. So no running. They don't want you to run. So it looks like something which might be a bit grey market, it's something a bit illegal. And particularly when the music sort of changes to that sort of tune. So as it turns out, it is a place where you can come to fight. And there's a place where you can come buy dumplings. Or steam buns, I think they're called. But it's a bit too early to be fighting, I think, or gambling. So it's kind of a 
a sanctioned den of iniquity, I guess you could call it. So I assume the uh, Niawu authorities know about this place, but, you know, they just let it run. I guess it's telling about sort of how civil governments deal with things which are effectively illegal, but people want to do. People want to watch people fighting, they want to bet on it, they want to also gamble, play cards, whatever. So you have to find a place in the city, in the town, where they can do it. And uh, Rose Garden is it. Okay, so back to the promenade. And let's carry on through. So that seems to be a martial arts shop. There's a barber up ahead. That is a chicken. Oh, she's waving to me. Hello. Where's she Excuse doing? Me. Hello there. What can I get you? Some chicken? Actually, I just have a question. Well, what is it? Have you seen this man? Do you know this person? Nope, never seen him. Well, not here at least. Okay, thanks. I mean, what does that mean? If you've never seen him but not here at least, you have possibly seen him somewhere else? Okay, there's a bookstore. Let's ask the bookstore clerk. Excuse me. Hello there. Any book you don't find on the shelves can be ordered in. Ah. But it'll take a while. That's Actually, fair I just enough. have a question. Have you seen this Do man? Do you know this person? Who is he? A famous author or something? He doesn't look familiar. Nope. He's never come into my shop. Okay. Thanks so anyway. far, no hits. Made no progress on finding Yuan. But I suppose that's kind of like real life. I mean, if you ask majority of people on the street Excuse about a missing me. person, they're not going to know. There. How would you like your haircut? I'd like a nice haircut, please. Do you know this person? That's a nice head of hair, lucky SOB. Anything else? Oops, excuse me. Hmm, I don't recognize him. He's never come here. Okay. So strangely, Thanks. the kidnapped person has not come to order a book, have a haircut, have his fortune told, or any other thing. But, I mean, Rio has to try. So let's check with this lady. Excuse me. Why, hello there. If you're looking for the latest fashions, you've come to the right place. Feel free to try something on. I mean, that's some pretty nice upbeat music. Actually, I just have a question. She seems put out already. Do you know this person? Who's that? Is he from Nyawu? You haven't seen him? Can't say I have. Most of my customers are women, so I'd certainly remember if a man came in. Okay, thanks. Yeah, that's some very cool upbeat music. Okay, so, no progress on the promenade. Time to head through this shrine area. Let's talk to Excuse this me. lights person. Hello there. How about a light that can brighten up even the darkest, gloomiest home? Actually... I just have a question. I mean, it's interesting how all these shop vendors have uh, a sort of a standard you know line when they when Anything interacting else? with customers. Don't believe I've seen him before. There's a lot of people in this town, you see. Okay. Maybe it's supposed to impress upon you the idea that Niawu is huge compared to Bailu, and it's full of strangers that don't know one another, and you're going to have to be a bit more targeted rather than just asking everyone. And there is also that sense. Okay, so heading on up. No running, do not run. Soon Rio will be allowed to run again, but not yet. I 
I think, oh, that's a Japanese name. So at this point, there is no objective as such. You're just supposed to ask around, see if anyone knows or has, has any can give you any clues as to UN's hideabouts. Uh, sorry, UN's whereabouts. But there, there is no structure yet. You don't really have any concrete leads, so you just have to ask anyone and everyone. There's the tortoise shell guy. talk to the folks around here a little more but that boundary tells you that you have to talk to someone around here first hey mister thanks for that earlier why don't you come inside okay let's see what I can see in my mind's eye let's see yes, what this guy can tell me this is distressing oh dear I sense danger in your life. He has very dry what? lips. What kind of danger? There's nothing more I can say. Oh. That's all I see. That's all you see. Do be careful. You sense danger Thank and that's you. all you can see. Please come see me whenever you need guidance. Yeah, because your guidance seems really detailed and specific. I'm in danger, but that's all you can see. All right. So at least you now know that coming to see the the blue tortoise shell guy person was not the main objective Excuse because me. he he gave you almost no Welcome. information. Are you here for statues or altar fittings perhaps? Actually, I just have a question. Have you seen this man? Do you know this person? Is this man from around here? I'm guessing no, that's a no. He's not. But I have reason to believe he's been here recently. The ferry terminal. Ah, here we go. Try the ferry terminal. They have snapshots of tourists up on display there. Now the interesting thing if is, been here recently, I was already at the ferry terminal, something. and I had a look at okay. some snapshots. Thanks. But I, I couldn't see him. So does that mean that had I just looked around before I came to this lady, I would have been able to sort of find Yuan up on the board? Or did I need to have purposefully have come to this lady to activate the script to then go to the ferry terminal? Hopefully, it's because I missed it. Because it's, it's annoying when you have to sort of fish for a clue when you've already been to the location that the clue leads you to. So I, I had already looked around the ferry terminal, but I guess I didn't look closely enough at the board. But now, you know, everything's unlocked, I can proceed on my way. So, heading back to the ferry terminal. Which is kind of just opposite my hotel. So had I just sort of exited my hotel and gone to the ferry terminal, I may well have seen a photo of Yuan on the board. Ah, so the cutscene implies that... It was a scripted event. I needed to have gone to the promenade first, spoken to the lady, who then told me about the ferry terminal, so then I would have to come back. I couldn't have just come here before and done it. Which is a shame. But uh, it's, it's, it's very linear, I suppose. Where is this fish? Where is this fish shop? I mean, he'll give commentary on the things Where that he has this? some idea about. There's the cormorant fisherman just I above. I wonder what he's looking at. What is this a picture of? I mean, some of these pictures are very interesting, aren't they? The human condition. Oh look, there's the there's the cute little girl in red. Anything else? From Bailu Village. She's cute. It's, it's odd that Rio said it when is he got to the photo event? of. What kind the of receptionist rather than the little girl there. I'd love to take focus on there. So we're seeing how Ryo's mind works when he sees people and events and situations. Suspicious. No matter how you swing it. Ha <laughs> ha. There's Rift Tamlin. Okay, so I'm thinking there's nothing on the first board that will help you. 
So let's move to the Uncle second board. At night. So picturesque. Yeah, I think I've pretty much gone through all of the photos on the first Where board. Where temple be? Nozomi likes kids too. Is it time to move on to the second board yet? Okay, here we go. Oh, there's the ice cream parlor girl. A family photo. I wonder how Fukusan and Ina-san are doing. Must give Fukusan a call it's sometime. The wacky mole. It's the latest it's wacky mole. Oh, here we go. Hmm. I mean, who posted that photo? Isn't this Mr. Yuan? Where was this photo taken? I see Buddhist statues in the background. So I don't understand what happened From there. The shop. Did someone All take right. a picture, picture of them for them? Or was it just sort of a random picture of the Buddhist shop? Of the Buddha shop? It's an odd one. But we now have a clue. We can sort of um, reconvene at Hotel Niawu and update Shenhua on the... We have some sighting of her father. This is great news. Hey, Shenhua. Leo, have you found out anything? Yes, I have. Yeah. This was at the ferry terminal. It's all very promising. This is the first father. sign of her father for so, a long it time. Is him. This picture proves that those thugs were the ones that brought him here. Yeah. But more thugs. What's more people for real to fight. They look like... Buddha statues. So we have to look out for a Buddha statue. A Buddhist, a Buddhist shop, yes. Well then, we know what to look for here in Niawu. So at least you can sort of focus your your yes. search more now, which is great. About that photo. Right, there was a Buddhist shop in the background. I'll ask around town. Okay. I really wish Shenhua would ask around town, and it would help Ryo on his quest, but I don't think that's going to happen. that photo? Right. There I'll ask... Okay. See, she only has one thing to say about it. She's clearly under severe distress after seeing that photo of her father. So let's just, you know, let her re recover and let's carry on. So back to the promenade, Ryo. Time to go to the promenade. Okay. Glad we got moving. Yep, the other way. Not quite that way we are. Just past the fruit shop. Now turn left. Okay, here we go. So there's a Buddha shop, Buddha shop just there, but obviously it's not that one, because it seems to be some sort of stall. So no running here. You must walk out of respect. So at this point, you must realize that Niawu is rather large and you ha you have really no idea what the extent of the map is. I mean, I'm not even sure if anyone has been using the map. It hasn't been explained to me. I'm just sort of doing everything by memory and sight, to be honest. The Bailu village was relatively straightforward. I think Niawu is a little bit more complex though, so... It's hard to... you have to really get your bearings. Excuse me. Welcome. She was of help before, statues, so maybe she can give me some pointers now, perhaps? too. Here's Here's another photo of they something. Gaudy, can you recognize it? There. Is that right? I may have nothing but stone statues, but all of them house spirits. 
Could I interest you in I mean, one? it is a bit of a Sorry, but bad thing a for Ryo to ask you know I a competitor, effectively. If I'm not mistaken, it was in the direction of Vendor Avenue. Vendor Avenue? Okay. To get there, a keep new going down sort this road of a new and clue. go right at the mooncake stand. Right. Okay, thanks. So we've now opened up a new section of the map, Vendor Avenue. But I see the pretty lady in the distance. Cutscene ensuing. Here we go. Now, this woman. Oh, she just she just knocked over this little kid. What are you doing? Are you all right? He was. I'm fine. Goodness, that's very inconsiderate of you, lady. Anyway, she's rather glamorous for Niawu. So she stands out, and the cutscene is definitely focusing in on her to point out something to Ryo. She seems nice, is what Ryo regards her as. Oh, you're... Huh. You were on the boat with me. That's right. Oh, hello. Isn't your girlfriend with you? Huh? Shenhua isn't my... Oh, really? Sorry about that. That's all right. It's no problem. So who is that? That's Li Feng, apparently. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for Vendor Avenue. Isn't that it? Uh, okay. I mean, that's a little Thanks. bit awkward. It's almost as if you just wanted to talk to a Rio, even though Vendor Avenue's right there. Okay. Time to uh, walk away from the pretty lady, Ryo. Good, good. So even though she said Vend Avenue's right there, Ryo is not taking her literal advice. Okay, now he is. Now heading towards Vendor Avenue. Cutscene ensues. So this is Vendor Avenue. It is indeed. 